conditions like this, long lines for gas, water for the bus, and cold weather and no power, you're bound to see tempers flare. Our affiliate WCBS actually talked to some pretty frustrated people stranded in Staten Island. No one has food. We were starving. We're cold. It's really horrible. The maiden evacuated us. Nobody cares about us down here. Everybody's in Rockaway. I understand they lost homes, but we still are alive here. Let's get straight to Steve Carney's retired New York detective joining us now via Skype. You know, Steve, we also had some video in the five o'clock hour of a guy that cut in line uh, at the gas station and people went crazy and they were running after him and they had to call the cops. I mean, you know, at some point, I mean, what do you do in a situation like this? Because things are starting to get more and more hairy. Well, here, when we see our, our, our panic, frustration and desperation, uh, people's common sense and decency diminish. So it, it becomes really a superpower at that point. And when we have people that are all in despair, that are all facing uh, no gas, no home, no food, waiting on these long lines, and everybody else has that, that same attitude, we, we get this mob mentality and we need law enforcement present to, to monitor that and to stop uh, the, the ruckus that goes on. Yeah, and in this case, you know, the cops did come in and Vinny was even saying stuff's popping up online uh, everywhere of these fights breaking out. What about at home? How do you protect yourself at home if you're seeing looting and, and robberies uh, happening uh, in your neighborhood, which unfortunately are? Well, if, if you see that occurring, 911 right away. Uh, when if you're at home you it's good to have a presence to appear that you are home looters don't like the presence of of people uh being in the residence so if, if you can if you have that ability if you're not at home and if you've had to evacuate you're going to have to rely on law enforcement as as your backup what about with if people waiting in those long lines for gas um what about food water you know how do you protect yourself with all of that when you're just on your own well, the, the, we, we do not plan ahead well for these events. Uh, I, I happen to be stuck in California for the four days. I had my family make sure that there was gas, make sure that there was plenty of food, make sure that there were uh, uh, Ziploc bags filled with ice in the event that we did uh, lose power for any lengthy period of time. So we need to go back, we need to prepare, we need to look at these things and not forget what our past has dictated to us. Steve Cardian, thanks so much for Skyping in. Thank you, Kira.